I guess it's, can everyone hear me all right in the back there? Awesome, well, thank you for coming out, coming to the presentation. I wanted to talk about why I teach and why I teach data science. So I'm the co-founder of Zipian Academy. I have my other co-founder, Ryan, up here, some awesome students, Katie, our VP of Marketing, and if you see any of them at the conference, please ask them about the awesome stuff they're building at our school. A little background on me, I went to Cal and studied computer science and physics and always had a love for, for data, for working with big, big numbers, scientific um, analyses, but computers were really, I guess, my, my second love. So after school, I worked for a company called Alpine Data Labs, and this is where I really cut my teeth with data science, machine learning, data at scale, and was building machine learning algorithms on Hadoop. But part of me always, always had a passion for teaching, and I always wanted to impart the knowledge, all these awesome things I was building, I wanted to get them out there so other people could build things just as cool. And part of what I was doing while I was working at these companies and in industry is I worked at most of the educational schools in the area teaching software engineering, programming, and got, got inspired by the students at these schools and saw how much you could achieve in such a short time with such a focused program. But one thing I noticed is that there wasn't anything targeted towards statistics, machine learning, data science, building projects that I think are gonna solve the problems of our generation, either now or in the next five and 10 years. So. That's part of the reason why me and Ryan started Zipian Academy, to try to bring this education to more people out there, get the knowledge that is typically sequestered in either big companies or universities, and get it out there to the world at large. Show people that data science and machine learning at scale isn't as hard as you, you think it is. You don't have to have a PhD set atop an ivory tower to do really interesting analysis that are quite simple. Um, or can be made quite simple. And another reason why I started getting into education is just um, part of working with computers and software is it's somewhat isolating. I wanted to work with people. And I think that people are the future, education's the future. So if we can impart this knowledge that we know from one generation to the next, it's gonna be much more impactful for, for the future world that hopefully our children and grandchildren are gonna live in. And just an overview of our program, it's 12 weeks, full time, five days a week, eight hours a day. Our students can tell you that it's very intense and often goes over eight hours a day. Um, works with a lot of guest lecturers from industry to come in and show the students what, what these theories, machine learning algorithms, techniques, how they can be used in the real world on, on real data sets. And again, getting back, the, I think humans are much more fun to teach than robots, even though robots and machines do empower the people behind them. So it's this synergy between what you can do as an individual, as, as a person, and how much you can leverage the computer, the algorithm, the machines to learn from data. And machines are great at one thing, people are great at the other, and it's this, this combination that I think is really gonna, gonna move things forward. And many of you might know about this skills gap between universities, companies wanting data scientists, there's a huge demand, no one to, to fill it. So we're hoping that by getting people out there, they can teach others, that our students can work at companies and um, really build a broader community that can, can share the knowledge, share their projects, and help, help everyone move further and faster with this field that's very new. Not a whole lot of people know it or understand how to do it. And Data, data what? People always ask me, what's data science? How is data science? How do I do data science? And I often say that you should look to the practitioners in the field, look to data scientists out there, self-proclaimed data practitioners, and what they're doing. They're often on the front lines. People like Peter Skomaroch, Hilary Mason, Drew Conway, they've defined the field, and they're definitely pushing it farther and faster. And I think that's a good place to start when you want to find out how to get into it and, and where to go with things. And the, the data science algorithms, techniques, statistics are only part of it. I really believe that at its core, it's this mindset, it's this movement, it's knowing how to approach problems, how to ask the right questions, and how to know where to find the right answers. Because sometimes it's more about the question and figuring out 
when you're going down the wrong path, knowing how to adapt and change things quickly on the fly and react to both your users, your company, and, and your data. So it's a little bit of both. And again, it's a very exciting field and we, we have to keep it fun. We have to keep moving things productively forward such that we don't have a bubble burst, that we don't crash and burn, that we can sustain data science and, and these types of projects. Um, a little bit of an overview of the, the timeline of, of our school is we have structured curriculum, personal projects, group projects, a hiring day, and, and then graduation. Um, and we're always looking for people who might want to get involved to guest lecture, share a, share a story that they have working with data. If you have a project or a data set, we, we work with companies and clients to have students work on projects that you might have, not have the resources or time to devote to. And if you're just looking for data scientists, we do have our hiring date for our, our cohort, um, the fall cohort, November 20th. So please get in touch with me or Ryan if you're interested in attending. Um, like most of the other companies here, we're hiring, but we're hiring for instructors, curriculum developers, mentors to provide guidance for the students and their projects. If any of this sounds interesting, please um, email me, get in touch. Um, we love to involve more people in, in the community. And just a highlight of Data Week and where we're at here. Um, Code May's party, it's gonna be awesome tomorrow night, Thursday, talking on a panel with Chartio. Um, and right now, that's, that's where you are. So again, why I teach? I teach for the humans behind the machines. I teach for our awesome 13 students. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't do anything if it's not to, to teach the folks who, who really inspire me, and hopefully I inspire them as much. So thank you. I'm Jonathan. Please, if you want to know more, talk to me, talk to the students, talk to my co-founder, and thanks again for, for coming out and, and your interest.